Very few people know about crop circles. Strange patterns usually appear overnight in crop fields. Crop circles were first reported in 800 AD, and the newest one was reported just yesterday. For one appeared on September 17, 2017 in Boschenhoft, Netherlands. A few people have claimed responsibility for creating such patterns, while some got famous like Doug and Dave, and some even got arrested. However, whether you are a believer or not, crop circles remain a mystery till this day. Although you can find many videos about crop circles, crop circles seem to appear less frequently in the fields. As you can see in this chart, when we started making our first crop circle videos in 2015, there were 87 crop circles. That was a big drop from 2014's 103. And then in 2016, we only had 68. We thought we would see more crop circles in 2017 as we had an early start in March. You may not know it, but we actually made a wish list on February 2, 2017. We asked volunteers to join our team and try to create crop circles with our minds. Although a few of you joined our experiment, the two shapes we asked for did appear again, 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 and again. Of course, you may say these two shapes are really common, so they probably will appear whether we ask for them or not. But I actually asked for the shape because they did not appear in 2015 nor 2016. When the first crop circle appeared in March, I thought it looked a bit like this Mickey Mouse we asked for. But it was in Argentina, not Netherlands. And the head seemed too small while the ears were too big. But then this Netherlands one appeared looking more like it. But when we saw this one in Cherhill, Wiltshire on April 16, 2017, we were speechless. As it was not only the three-layered circle we asked for, it also looked exactly like the necklace on our director's neck. Although crop circles appear with shapes similar to the ones we asked for, they never came out exactly as ordered. And the variation seemed to carry messages of its own. Like this one having the head and ears but with extra dots and this bulge seemed to hint at something else. Doesn't this look like solar flares? We released our video in April warning about possible solar flares in August. And guess what? We had the biggest solar flare since 1989, around the time from July to September. We did dodge the cosmic bullet as the flare was shooting the other way, just as predicted. Encouraged by the newly found two-way communication with crop circle makers, we put out more requests in this video released on April 24, 2017. We wish for a crop circle in Scotland, a crop circle in a Netherlands flower field, an eye-shaped crop circle, a fleur de lis in France, and the fifth wish was to have crop circles appear and then disappear. Four days later, a crop circle appeared in Cornwall, England. It was not reported until May 6, 2017, the day when our team visited Cornwall. It was a dot inside a triangle, but strangely, when we searched for a triangle, this result popped up. It is about all-seeing eye, being an eye inside the triangle shape. So here comes our eye symbol. We were a little disappointed when we did not get the Fleur de Lis nor a Netherlands flower field crop circle. But when I searched Crop Circle Scotland 2017 and found there was a crop circle in Scotland around July 14, 2017 that was not reported and thusly seemingly unknown. So now I've got another hit with a smile and a wink. Then we decided in early July that we needed to take a break from making crop circle videos when our channel was wrongly attacked. Strangely, when we announced that we make crop circle videos only when there are important messages and only when we are confident about what we decoded, crop circles seemed to disappear from crop fields. 
During the peak season of July, we had three weeks with no crop circles in England. It is almost like the crop circle creators decided to take a summer vacation. Is that an answer to our wish number five? Crop circles appear and then disappear? That was not our intention, but we did start making more crop circle videos after we saw this crop circle in August. I felt it held important messages that we just had to share with our viewers. However, crop circle season is about to end, and there is no doubt that we are back to the 1988 low, with only 56 crop circles so far. It is such a shame we finally have people working on decoding crop circles and they decided to turn their backs on us. Yet when UK crop circles are on strike, Netherlands crop circles are hard at work. Let's take a look at this September 17 crop circle. What does it look like to you? I'm going to make an uneducated guess. I think it looks like a hurricane path. If I'm correct, then this crop circle is both a warning and a relief. It is saying that a storm will be coming to land. However, the huge hurricane will lose its strength and eventually hit after the eye of the storm disappears. Doesn't it look that way to you? Many critics may say hurricane attacks are imminent and we don't need crop circles to tell us that. But look, a hurricane is just my guess. Maybe it is really a warning about an asteroid or a missile attack, but a missile projectile should be a straight line instead of a dancing track like that. The August 17, 2017 crop circle in Sutton Hall also showed three dots coming towards a circle. I said before that those three dots may be three hurricanes. Soon after, Harvey and Irma brought unseen destruction. So I wonder when the third one will hit us. We know it will be smaller than the first two. And with Jose turning away, could Maria be the third dot? I also want to show you this August 22, 2017 crop circle, because it's just too simple to decode. But with crop circles appearing before and after, I think I finally know what it may mean. It may be about the two hurricanes, Harvey and Irma. They came one after the other and the areas hit were just as shown in this crop circle. I don't know if we should blame Mother Nature for the recent devastation, but do you realize that we could have suffered much worse damages if Irma did not make that last minute turn, thus avoiding Miami? 90% of the homes in the hardest hit areas in the Caribbean were lost. Can you imagine losing 90% of Miami? I said in my video that the April 24, 2017 crop circle message may be, we shall survive. And the April 29, 2017 crop circle meant we were protected by the all-seeing eyes. Were we sheltered from the worst disasters? What do you think? There is nothing much we can do to prevent what is coming our way. But if we do our part in protecting the environment, we may preserve the Earth from its seemingly self-destructive course. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.